Nesting time, the sound never stops on East Sand Island. Terns are not quiet birds. Don Lyons of Oregon State University says the low-lying island at the mouth of the Columbia River, just a few minutes by boat from the Washington shore, is perfect nesting habitat for the Caspian tern. And that means big trouble for young fish like salmon and steelhead smolts headed to the ocean. All of their food they pull out of the water and it's 99% or greater fish. More than 14,000 terns nest here at the peak of breeding season, eating an estimated 5 million young salmon and steelhead a year. Still, that's about half the number eaten in the late 1990s, when the Army Corps of Engineers, under orders to protect the fish, first started moving terns to change their diet. When this relocation program began, the islands in this stretch of the Columbia River were home to the biggest nesting and breeding colony of Caspian terns in the world. 15 years and $25 million later, they still are. It's a big price tag, says the Corps, but money well spent. Far less than other fish protection projects, for example, renovating dams the Corps operates and the salmon have to navigate. They have a courtship flight display that they do with each other. Lyons, with a team of biologists monitoring the program, has seen progress. First, this colony was moved, persuaded by decoys and courtship sounds, 13 miles downstream to East Sand, closer to the ocean with a bigger seafood menu. Things like anchovy and herring and sardines. To draw terns away from East Sand and the salmon-rich Columbia, artificial nesting islands have been built from southeastern Oregon to northern California. Success has been varied, but thousands of the highly adaptable terns have relocated. Meanwhile, the available nesting area here has slowly been shrunk. Fencing moved in during the off-season. Yellow mesh discouraging any new nesting sites. Fish survival rates have improved, but not as much or as fast as hope. We still have some work to do, but the progress is slow and trending upward. And while wildlife managers work the turn problem, another challenge has developed. The double-crested cormorant, now more numerous on East Sand and even hungrier for salmon than the salmon-hungry Caspian tern. The Corps now developing another plan, price tag still unknown, to deal with them. Alan Schaffler, Al Jazeera, East Sand Island, Washington.